from the Maple View Animal Hospital Studios, this is the WHTC Morning News with Gary Stevens and Peg McNichol on 99.7, 1450 WHTC and WHTC.com. Welcome back to the WHTC Morning News for this Wednesday, August the 12th, Wednesday mornings. We wrap up the morning news with a look at what's going on in Howland Public Schools. Jason Craner joins us from his office at the administration offices for Holland Public Schools via Zoom connection. Jason, good morning and welcome back to WHTC. Hey Gary, how are you today? We are well, hopefully yeah. all is well. And a week ago we said we're talking three weeks before the start of classes. Today, we're talking two weeks two before weeks. the start of classes. Yeah, and I think, uh, you know, if, if they're feeling it at home, parents are feeling like the end of the summer is happening quickly. It's happening very quickly in, in the school buildings. Wanted to talk about one thing that uh, is happening today. You know, about a year ago, uh, one of the big things that was happening in the schools is the, the mold issue that we had at uh, the Van Ralty School. Uh, today, happy to say that uh, teachers and staff are moving back into that building after all the remediation over the last year. Uh, we have a great team of volunteers from Christ Memorial Church who are helping to uh, carry boxes and push carts and make sure that uh, all the heavy lifting is taken care of. Uh, can't thank them enough for helping out with that. But uh, the, the building is, is open for staff, and they are going to be uh, moving their boxes and getting their classrooms set up. Now, I guess there's a couple of classrooms that still don't have some carpeting laid, but uh, that, is a, that is a milestone, a huge thing happening today. We're super excited that uh, Van Ralty School is going to be open for the Holland Language Academy uh, for the coming year. Uh, just to lay down the curve, it's just a minor thing. Now. Just a minor. <laughs> to... It's just a couple of the classrooms. So, but, but most of the classrooms are ready to go and uh, excited to have that building back open for those kids in the Holland Language Academy. It is indeed a good accomplishment. Uh, it's a shame that it, the mold had to come, but um, you know, maybe sometimes uh, you can make chicken salad out of what, and uh, uh, perhaps some of the renovations, uh, maybe some some little new tweaks in the in the building as well because of the cleaning and the uh, and eventual uh, things might make it even enhancing the uh, learning experience there. It, it definitely is not the same building it was a year ago. So it'll be, a, it'll be a great place, healthy place, and a safe place for kids to learn in the coming year. All right. We're two weeks away from the start of classes. And before those happen, and especially this year because of the uncertainty about what type of phase we're going to be in and how learning is going to be, whether or not it's going to be all virtual or in person or a mixture of both, uh, trying to you know, get everything there. These open houses that the district's going to have has become even more important, Jason. Yeah, they, they really are. You know, we have about 80% of our student body will be coming back for face-to-face -face learning. About 20% are going to be staying home and learning from home that we're going to provide uh, those options for them as well. For those folks who, uh, for the families who have chosen a face-to-face -face option, we are going to be hosting open house dates on Monday, August 24th, and Tuesday, August 25th. Now what we've done is set up um, alternating times. So families from A through L, uh, we would like you to go to uh, the elementary buildings on Monday. And if you're A through L, uh, you go to the middle school and high school on Tuesday. So what we're trying to do is make sure that if you have children in multiple buildings, that you have the opportunity to go to the open houses and uh, have a chance to at least say hi to your teacher. Uh, then the M through Zs will flip-flop that. So M through Z, you go to the high school, middle school on Monday and go to the elementary schools on Tuesday. A little confusing. It's easier when you see it in writing on our website at hollandpublicschools.org. So really what we're hoping that folks will do is come to the open house and um, quickly pop in to their teacher to just to see the classroom, uh, say hi, and then 
head out. We really don't want people hanging around in the building too much. Uh, to, we, we, we need to keep the uh, size of the crowd down. Um, and we're also asking that uh, we don't have, it's not a, a big family affair. So we're not bringing uh, little kids into the high school and middle school building to meet the teachers. Uh, maybe just one parent and the student that is in that building, it, it would just be best to keep those crowds down. Uh, open house, it's, it's a great time for the family to see where everybody goes to school, but this year it's just a little bit different. Uh, you're also gonna see some of our schools may do things just a little bit differently too to, to keep the crowds down. Uh, the middle school is actually going to have their teachers set up around the track and it's going to be an outdoor uh, and then you'll have an opportunity on, um, uh, on that day to also move through the building pretty quickly, maybe uh, just see what your classroom looks like. Uh, the other thing that we're doing is on August 20th, we are going to all day long at uh, the high school and middle school particularly uh, allow students and uh, family to walk through the building and see what their schedule looks like, kind of get a feel of what the hallways are going to be like. Uh, by that point, we will have the traffic control devices <laughs> set uh, in the hallways. Our hallways are all going to be as much as possible one-way hallways. Uh, so some of the photos that you saw from uh, some of the other schools around the country uh, we, we're, we're, we have a plan. Hopefully we can make this work and, and the kids will follow the, uh, follow the one-way signs to limit traffic through, uh, through the building. Now, it might mean a little bit, walk, a little bit longer walk from class to class, uh, but we, we really want to make sure that we keep uh, all the kids moving in the same direction and limit the crowds and the, the bottlenecks in the hallways. You don't want to have a, a similar situation at one school where the student took a photo uh, of her and went viral of a packed hallway. You don't want that at all no, in any no. of the schools. And we'll do, we, we're going to do our best to make sure that uh, that, that, that doesn't happen. Um, again, th th there, will be, there will be things that happen that we will have to address after the first day of school. If we find that halls just at the high school or the middle school just get too packed. Uh, maybe we, we alter some schedule a little bit, uh, release some kids earlier from class. Uh, you know, we, we will have to figure that out, but we are not gonna let that uh, be something that continues to happen at, in, our, in our buildings. One final question, Jason Craner. Obviously, classes begin two weeks from today mm -hmm. in Holland Public Schools, and there's been some discussion, uh, um, most notably about uh, uh, you know, extracurricular activities, most notably about athletics, and that's still up in the air. I want to talk about the other extracurriculars that seem to be overlooked. Band. Yeah. Uh, uh, the arts. Um, has the district really addressed that situation as well? Yeah. Like a lot of other things, Gary, we, we are going to have to follow the, uh, the recommendations, well, the, the mandates from the state, um, the, the band right now, uh, we will have band classes. They will play outside when possible. They will not be playing their, uh, their instruments inside. Uh, today, in fact, I think there's a group of band students out uh, marching in the parking lot. Um, they, uh, a, a, as far as extracurricular, the, the, they're, they will not be performing at football games, that sort of thing right now. Uh, that is really up in the air. I had a quick conversation with the band director. Um, they're hoping to do a, a quick Facebook performance this week um, for, for families, that sort of thing, uh, the, the things that they've been practicing this week. But it's really up in the air as to, uh, to what any extracurricular activity looks like. But I, but I think you're right. The, the, bands and the, uh, the bands and choirs right now, um, a, a lot of that is, is very uncertain. Uh, as far as what extracurricular looks like. Uh, kids in choir classes, uh, they will be singing, but they'll, they'll be masked up. Um, and uh, there'll be extra precautions taken uh, in those classes as well. It, it's a, it's a really an, inf an, a, an unfortunate part of what's happening here. Um, those, those, I, I know that those band kids love the marching band. Parents love watching, the community loves watching the, the Holland High School marching band. And um, at, at this point, that it's, it's just not safe to be blowing 
coronavirus, possibly through a big tuba as you <laughs> march around. <laughs> so, so it's just uh, that that's an unfortunate, uh, unfortunate dismissal of what's going to be happening. Again, Holland Public Schools opens in two weeks. More information on the open houses and on the opening of classes at Holland Public Schools is on the website at hollandpublicschools.org. Jason Craner, as always, we appreciate you spending some time with us today on WHTC Morning News. Wish you, Superintendent Davis, and all involved with Holland Public Schools well, and we look forward to the next update next Wednesday morning. Thanks, Gary. Appreciate it. Jason Craner on 99.7 and 1450 WHTC.